Turn to Jesus Christ and have life. Only Jesus can save your soul. Turn to God. The God of the Holy Bible. The one who's laid his life down for the sheep. If you're going to die in your sin if you continue in your sin, or you can repent and surrender to Jesus Christ and have life. Jesus laid his life down for the sheep. He kept all the Ten Commandments because none of us can keep them. We all lie and stole. Jesus said, if you look upon a woman in lust, you commit adultery in your heart. Jesus said, if you hate somebody, you commit murder in your heart. But you can repent and give your life to Jesus Christ and live. You don't have to die in your sin. You don't have to die in your unrighteousness. Are you willing to repent and turn to Jesus Christ? Turn to the God of the Bible and live. Jesus paid your wages that you can't pay. Oh, Jesus. You want to film? Yeah. What's up? Turn to Christ. Turn to the Messiah and live. The Bible says liars, thieves, adulterers, idolaters, drunkards, homosexuals, sodomites, infidites, the feminists will not enter the kingdom of God unless they repent and put their faith in Jesus Christ. You can have all your sins erased and then you can enter the kingdom of God because you put your faith in Jesus and you surrender your life. The gospel church. Jesus can set you free. Muhammad and Buddha can't save you. Praying to Mary can't save you. Praying to the saints can't save you. Only by repenting and putting your belief in your total trust in Jesus Christ you can be saved. And then God can change your life. And you start to read your Bible. The problem is a lot of people don't want God's grace. Christ died for you and me. He can save you of any sin, even if you had an abortion, even if you're a drunkard. God can save anybody, even if you look at porno, live as a homosexual. Christ can forgive you of all sin. He can forgive you of any sin. Are you willing to turn to Him and surrender? Oh, you want to surrender to Him and come to God's love and compassion, His mercy and grace. Come to God's love. Stop rebelling against God's love. <laughs> Christ laid His life down for you and me that you can have life. No other way. Turn to Christ and live. Turn to the God of the Bible and have life. It's time to wake up. It's actually time to wake up and repent. And stop turning your back on a holy God. And come to God's mercy and grace. Because everybody's going to die. Everyone's going to hit the ground one day and die and hit a coffin. Everybody's going to die one day. And what are you going to do before you face God? I was a good person. Your goodness won't save you. Only thing will save you is by repenting on this earth and putting your faith in Jesus. Only by putting your faith in Jesus will save you on that day of judgment. Look at this here, man. Christ died for you, the Messiah. Jesus died for you to save you on the day of judgment. And you can have life through Jesus Christ. Trust in Jesus and live. Put your total faith and hope in Jesus Christ and have life. Only Jesus can set you free. 
Jesus died for us so we can have true peace, true hope. There is no hope in nothing else that can save your soul. It's what Jesus did at the cross. It's what he did for us. He took our punishment at the cross. It's the only thing that can save us. It's what Jesus did for us. Laid his life down. Dr. Chutley. Some people believe in evolution because they don't want to submit to a holy God. Some people are atheists because they don't want to submit to a holy God. But God is real. God is so real like that air you're breathing, like your heart beating. God is real. Submit to Jesus Christ and have life. Submit, surrender to the King of Kings, the Lords the Lords of the universe, the one who woke you up this morning, and have life. Stop submitting to the world. Stop submitting yourself to sin. Stop submitting yourself to unrighteousness. And submit yourself to Jesus Christ and have life. Turn and be saved. Have life through the King of Kings.